Hey, fellow Estopians. So, I thought I'd do... I was going to do an unboxing, but it just uh, will add. I've got a, a, a crib sheet over there. So, I try, I'm going to try and keep the video length down and not waffle too much. I was going to do an unboxing, but, uh, you know, that will just add to the time and uh, annoy everybody. So, I sort of teased my uh, new watch the other day, um, which... Uh, Gavin, Gavin had a good guess um, at it, but uh, yeah, and uh, he knows now because my regular viewer, Gavin, because I did a short on it. It's worth having a look at the short if you haven't uh, already done that. It's got an interesting, uh, some interesting stuff about the size of the watch, um, which I'll mention in a moment. So, Explorer Forty uh, released at Watches and Wonders. I do a bit of a pits maneuver here. Uh, you might notice there's a couple of stickers still left on there, which I will be taking off now. I think I think I'll be taking them off during this video. As I say, I was going I was going to do an unboxing, but um, and maybe some comparison stuff. But I'm just going to talk about this for now. Try and keep the video short. Yeah, as I said, there's some uh, stickers on which I'll take off because this is going to be uh, a daily as a daily gets i think for me daily as a as a not even just as daily as a rolex daily gets but as daily as a daily daily gets i'm going to try and wear it a lot um right make sure there's no reflection um uh yeah so where do we start it's a great pickup um you know uh the, the strange thing about the pickup was it was a an email not a phone call so i've been waiting for this for a fair while um i got an email not the usual phone call which was a bit odd, but uh, is what it is. Uh, had a great chat with uh, the young man that I, uh, you know, that dealt with me, that served me on the day, sold the watch to me. Um, I'm now going to pull off, I don't want to get him in trouble, but I'm now going to pull off a couple of the stickers <laughs> that um, uh, he didn't uh, pull off. Um, you know, part of that might be that we were having such a great time i don't really do experiences uh, uh, when picking up a watch uh you know i don't i don't well i don't go there for an experience i go there to pick a watch up um a lot of people say oh yeah i had a great experience um um yeah i don't really do that and i, I kind of question what 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 is that experience but you know you can have an experience based on who you speak to uh, I don't think that's a corporate experience. I don't think that's set up by the by the shop or the brand. It's just something that happens because of who you speak to. And uh, yeah, I did have a great um, experience picking the watch up from uh, uh, the young man in the shop. Um, I've got a little crib sheet here, so I'm going to try and stick to it. So I've done the sticker taking off. So now we have in the for the first time my Explorer 40, 40 um, on. Uh, stickered it's a bit scratched up and stuff but uh, yeah it's going to be a daily so we don't care about that uh what else happened so i think as as a result of that chat another thing that happened was i got my first gift so i got a bottle of uh tattinger tattinger is that you pronounce it tattinger not sure uh brute reserve uh brute reserve yeah let me know in the comments below if i'm pronouncing these things correctly yeah my first little gift lovely little box um Really like it. Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, I would have preferred an umbrella, but hey ho. <laughs> no, it was a nice touch. It was a nice touch. Um, so, pick the watch up. Um, so, a bit of background. Um, I felt that the Explorer 40, um, which is coming up to a year old now, I believe, um, replaced the 39, um, was more, was perfect proportions for me because I'm a big as you may or may not know, I love 21 mil lug whips. Um, I'll probably do a bit of a comparison to a 20 mil lug whip or you know a Rolex uh, and some other and another. I'll do some comparison. I'll do a comparison video, but I think I need to keep this short in terms of just telling you about a few things about this. Um, so let's. Uh, pop it on i won't even give you that what are the measurements obviously it's 21 it's meant to be 40 but we'll come back to that um i think it narrows to it's about just over 16 at the bracelet to about just over 18 at the clasp um it's a bigger it's a nice that gives it a nice taper um almost perfect taper i do still think it is almost perfect proportions 
but we need to come back to the sizing. Um, I think the clasp's lovely. As we're talking about the clasp, I will mention. Um, so it has three spring bar uh, positions on the um, on the uh, on the clasp. So you've got three positions you can use using a, a tool to to move that about. And then in, in addition to that, you've got the five, well they call it a five mil um, easy link. So it it it's like that, and then you pop it out, and it gets five mil bigger. I've measured it at about just over four point five mil. Uh, and I've measured those three positions at a tad over three mil. So I think for the purpose of this, let's just say they're three mil and the micro, uh, sorry, the easy link is five mil. So that kind of gives you, um, I don't know what the actual link is. I'm going to guess it's about 10 mil. Uh, let's say it was nine mil just to make it easy. And then you got half of that with the, um, well, Basically, what you've got is you've got a millimeter, one and a half millimeter increments uh, in adjusting this watch to fit you. Now, to cut a long story short, I've struggled with getting it to fit me uh, very well. And where I've got to is I've put it on the, uh, where have I put it on? I've put it on the, uh, the tightest um, of the three options on the uh, micro adjust with the easy link open. And that kind of gives me the fit that I'm looking for. So it's not tight to my wrist, it's got a bit of movement, a bit of play. Um, but my wrist is moving up and down a lot at the moment. So, but you know, it's very easy. I've got the spring bar, um, I've got the Bergeon uh, spring bar tweezers that fit Rolex and Tudor really well. So it's really easy to adjust that. Um, I think ideally I would have liked it on the middle one and then I would have liked to have used the Easy Link to, um, you know, what it's there for. If your wrist swells, you can just open it up. If you if you go somewhere hot but uh, the important thing for me is that it actually fits me as well as it can uh, and that position is the one that it fits as well as it can at uh, like um, a lot of modern watches although I'm very very used to having at least one link taken out um, zero links were taken out um, in this uh, on this watch uh, and sometimes that surprises me because people with a big I've got a an almost seven and a half inch wrist so Anyone with a bigger wrist would kind of need, uh, you know, would even need the easy link out. On some watches, they would actually need an, an extra link added, which I find a bit odd. I don't know why things have gone like that. I've talked about it in the past. Um, you know, some brands have uh, smaller watches with bigger bracelets than their bigger watches do, which makes no sense. But we won't go into that here. Um, let's just quickly go. So no links uh, taken out. Mention the free bar, uh, free uh, positions on the micro adjust mentioned struggling a bit with size right so what gets talked about with this model a lot is uh from the 39 mil they've moved the explorer uh text from below the pinion uh to above it and people are sort of saying you know let's try and get some reflection off people are saying you know which is better um I think for me, it's six of one and half dozen of the other. Annoyingly, the time now is like just gone 10 past one. So the hands are covering that that there. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference personally. Uh, it is what it is. I think the pro um, I'm not going to say, well, the problem, the thing I think needs that's con that's a bit confusing on the Explorer is the fact that the um, the coronet, so the Rolex coronet, that crown shaped logo uh, that you have on the crown, but I'll call it a coronet. So that's what it is. I think that having a triangle at 12 and then the coronet and then text, uh, I think that's a bit fussy. Um, and I think really it would be better if, well, the only other option is to have the coronet instead of the triangle, really. Um, I think shoving the triangle down, as it is on the um, uh, the uh, OP41. Um, have a look at my short where I have uh, sizing, um, a little sizing video of uh, this and the OP41. Um, I think that's the issue. I think as soon as you shove the crown down below uh, a marker, an indice at 12, I think it starts to make everything look a bit awkward. But the actual, uh, when you read it, I think saying Rolex, ex uh, Rolex Oyster Perpetual Explorer kind of makes sense. And it's got the kind of the secondary, you know, uh, stuff down there. I don't know. Could you could you have Rolex Explorer and put the Oyster Perpetual down there with superlative chronometer and officially certified? Uh, I think that might be the best option, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, get rid of Oyster Perpetual, put that down there. Um, job done. But it is what it is. 
I wanted this because the dimensions worked for me, the proportions. Uh, I love 21mm lug whips um, and I like a, a, a bigger uh, case. Now, let's get on to the bigger case. As I say, if you have a look at my, um, my short that I've done, I have actually measured this um, with my vernier calipers. <laughs> And it's, it's nowhere near 40 mil. It's like 38 and a half mil across. Whichever way you do it, it's 38 and a half mil. Now, um, you might say that my vernier calipers are out, but when I measure anything else, it seems to work. If I measure a TSO Gentleman, it's exactly 40 mil. If I measure the 21 mil lug width there, it's pretty much exactly 21 mil. Um, and also, interestingly, I measured the uh, Oyster Perpetual 41 that I got into the channel for the video, which I'm not going to do today. Um, and that doesn't measure 41 mil either. It measures like 39. It's a, they're quite consistent. They're about a millimeter, one and a half millimeters less than the size stated, which is a bit strange when the Oyster Perpetual uh, 41, um, it's got the word, it's got the numbers 41 in the type in its name. And this Explorer 40 has the numbers 40 in its name. So it's a little bit odd. For it not to be 40 but anyway it is what it is i still think it's a nice dimension it's still the best dimension for me of all the explorers i'm yet to find out how big uh, an explorer 39 is in comparison i'm assuming it's a millimeter smaller than this one so that would make it 37 and a half mil but um yes let's wait and see uh, while i've got it on my wrist can you hear that It's got a weird squeak. Um, now, you know, that is the, the bracelet. Just got a weird squeak. Um, it is what it is. I guess uh, it will either just stop doing it or I might give it a wash at some point. Well, I will because I'm going to wear it a lot. So it's going to end up having a clean. Um, it might be a warranty issue, I don't know. Or maybe Rolex just, uh, I'm not Rolex bashing here because I, I do like the brand, but I've never had a watch squeak like that. Anyway, that's something new you might not have heard before. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. The only thing I'm looking at my crib sheet is, um, I came up with some, uh, I've got some, uh, well, I've got one prediction. So while I was in, uh, the AD, um, I really, I was told that the backboards on their display, so their POS, their point of sale, uh, you know, backboards and displays, they've recently had it, uh, sorry, recently had added. Uh, so what all right, I'll exp I should have took some pictures of it really, but what the backboard is, it's like a, a city landscape with, uh, with the hands. So you've got the Mercedes hands, the, you know, the, 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 uh, you know, the other hands, um, lollipop hands. You've got all these hands that are arranged like um, a city uh, a, a city landscape with skyscrapers. Now, what I was told was that recently, like months ago, um, but not that many months ago, uh, one of those was changed to include the uh, lightning bolt hand of the Milgaus. Now, I know that the Milgaus is widely reported to be coming back at one Watches and Wonders next month, so mid-April. Um, but I think if they have changed their uh, POS to add in purely the Milgaus uh, Lightning Bolt second hand, then that to me would indicate that it is indeed coming back. And whilst we're talking about Rolex predictions, I'm going to have to try and keep this under 15 minutes, not 10 now. Um, there's a prediction for the Polar White or a Polar White version of the Explorer. Um, and I've seen some renders of a blue one. Now, I really love blue dial watches. Uh, not so keen on the white. I know people go crazy for new colours. Uh, for me, the Explorer needs to be black because part of the appeal of the Explorer is that it's uh, it's a classic. Um, so, you know, a white one, uh, I don't, it's not really, I don't really do white dials very often. Um, I think it, it, it spoils the fact that, um, you know, the indices, uh, the numerals, the Arabic numerals, um, they don't really show up that well on white. Um, blue, on the other hand, t uh, I would like. Um, but number one, is a blue one going to come out? Number two, uh, I, I had my name on the list for this one and it, I got the uh, the call slash email. 
Um, and number three, I think, you know, I have a lot of blue watches and I kind of, although I think the blue one would actually be nicer looking, I actually particularly wanted the black one. So I'm very happy with this. Um, it scratches, I'm surprised <laughs> it scratches uh, just by looking at it. You only got to look at it and it scratches, but it is going to be a daily as he looks around for his uh, vernier calipers. Um, yeah, I've got the, what I, what I called the plastic vernier calipers, but um, I'm guessing they're some kind of composite, but you know, you can get steel ones. And I thought, why would you have steel ones and start touching watches with steel ones? But actually the plastic, just a word of warning, if you've got the plastic ones, um, the plastic ones will scratch this watch. Um, obviously it's not really an issue. It is going to get scratched. It's a bit annoying doing it on day one. Um, <laughs> but it's going to get scratched during its use because it is, it is going to be, um, it is going to be a daily. I'm going to wear it a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I was absolutely surprised that what I considered plastic would scratch, uh, this, uh, this watch. Um, but yeah, I look forward to getting a lot more scratches on it. I think that's about it. I think I've covered everything. I've tried to keep it going way over 15 minutes again. Hopefully I haven't waffled too much. I don't think I've ammonized too much. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to get a video out. I wanted to get this on. I'll spend a bit more time doing um, maybe a comparison with this and, and, and the sizes compared to other watches. Um, and uh, what I have got coming into the channel, which I think will be very interesting. I know... Um, um, uh, Invictors don't get uh, a lot of love, but here we have the uh, Invicta Pro Diver, which you know the the one Invicta that a lot of people do seem to love. Uh, a, 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 a Submariner homage. Um, there is, I think, a better version of this. It was a limited edition. It's now been re-released. Um, so instead of forty mil, it's forty two, and um, instead of having those uh, yellow loom Lemzip yellow loom pips it's um they're going to be slightly bigger not much bigger but obviously it's a bigger watch uh, instead of that it's going to have um very white loom uh loomed pips um and uh, yeah same same thing automatic hopefully it's got a yellow rotor um i'm looking forward to getting that in i don't want to bore everyone with invicta uh stuff but i don't think anyone else has mentioned the se so that i uh, i think and i've never done a proper video of this which is a very popular watch and people get thousands and thousands of views and subscribers based on reviewing this so i'm really looking forward to getting the uh the se version the special edition version of this into the channel but for now one wrist live it